Plateau State, with an estimated population of over 3 million people, according to the 2006 census, covers a total landmass of 27,332 square kilometers. To ensure proper planning, the State Ministry of Lands, Survey and Town Planning was established to lay out an efficient land administration process through the provision of geographical data of the state and quality service to all land title holders in an effective and timely manner. Though previous administrations came up with reforms to make land governance seamless in the state, no tangible results were recorded. This perhaps led to delay in the issuance of certificates of occupancy to land title holders for more than 10 years before the present administration came on board in 2015. In its quest to enhance land governance in line with universal based standards, Governor Simon Lalong in 2016 launched the Plateau Geographic Information System, Pledges. Plages' main services are the provision of residential, commercial, industrial and other relevant layouts, preparation and approval of physical development plans, surveying and mapping as well as processing of statutory land titles and other activities that are geared towards the implementation of the national land policies. At the launch of the pledges at the Ministry of Land, Survey and Town Planning, over 55,000 electronically generated certificates of occupancy were issued to applicants of land titles who have waited for more than 10 years. Yakub Dati is the Plateau State Commissioner of Lands, Survey and Town Planning and comments on the development. We are one of the first states to flag off the CIFCAS project, which is a project in conjunction with the World Bank, the Nigerian Governors Forum, which is aimed at improving property uh, registration. Uh, we're in the process of taking off, and uh, we are taking off with about four local government areas in the state, uh, after which uh, we'll be able to expand. The whole idea is to be able to capture the data for property across the state, which will also improve on revenue generation and also create data for planning. We are pushing a project where we are turning land into land capital. That when you have land, it's not in love. If you have titillation to your land, you improve the value of your land by 40%. Highlighting other reforms initiated by the ministry that he said the rescue administration is making great impact on the internally generated revenue of the state through its policies in land governance. The commissioner explained that 1.3 billion naira was invested in the automation of land titles and documentation to block leakages, ensure transparency and easy access to land titles. He said since the launch of the reforms, three to 400 certificates of occupancy have been processed every month, among other services rendered. We will also be able to embark on uh, creation of layouts across the state capital. His Excellency has uh, graciously approved seven layouts, uh, four residential, five residential areas and uh, two industrial areas. Uh, and uh, because of lack of funds, we are, we are the challenge and we are indeed going out to go into partnership with large holders of land to be able to design and do layouts. Uh, the advantage with that is uh, number one, we are able to create access for roads, for services, for security. Secondly, the houses will also be able to be accessible. Director Lands in the State Ministry of Lands, Survey and Town Planning, Solomon Homlong, speaks on some benefits of reforms initiated, especially through the State Fiscal Transparency and Accountability Program as it relates to land administration in the state. It basically has to do with the property enumeration. It is a child of necessity, stemming from the fact that the global pandemic has impacted negatively governance and of course being irresponsible people it is only wise that our leadership proactively initiates and engages in new programs that will touch on the livelihood of its citizenry. Acting General Manager Jos Metropolitan Development Board Kefas Yilrong said the introduction of pledges has reduced the cumbersome nature of urban planning. The faster people are able to have access to land and the titles, then the faster they can get approval in GMDB. So uh, I can't say that this move of government you know, has impacted positively to town planning and also 
to the activities of GMDB. The implementation of land reforms, especially with the current population explosion, modernization and above all quests for improved revenue generation is critical in order to achieve the much needed development in the state. I am Gokop Timothy.